So one of our friends uh, emailed me with a question, and this is a question from a former IGCSE or GCSE maths exam. And of course, if you have a question yourself, you're more than welcome to tell me, and I will try to help you as soon as possible. Okay, so what is the situation? We have this beautiful cake, and it's completely covered in, let's say, strawberry icing, all right? But I can't eat the entire cake, I've got to share, but I get a piece of cake, all right? And I sketch my piece of cake over here, yeah, so I cut out this piece of cake, and the question now is, what is the area of the icing on my piece of cake? Yeah, so what is the area of the red uh, shaded area? Now, as you perhaps can imagine, if I take a piece out of that cake, there will be no icing on this rectangle, and also not on the rectangle on the back side, at the side we don't see, yeah, because that was inside the cake. Now, to find the area of that uh, yeah, of that icing, I will divide my area into two parts, yeah? So I already written down a numeral one and a Roman numeral two over there. I'm gonna find the area of one, then I'm gonna find the area of part two, then I will add them to find the total area. Okay, now, I really like those Roman numerals because it really gives structure to your working, yeah? Hopefully you realize that part one is part of a circle. Okay, that is yeah, a circular cake, so the top is a part of a circle. Now, what is the area of a circle? And if your mom or dad asks you, or wh whoever takes care of you at three o'clock in the night, and they, I will ask you, what is the area of a circle? You will have to be able to say pi r squared. Okay, the area of a circle is pi r squared. You do not have to think about that, okay? But that will be the area for an entire circle. I do not have an entire circle because I couldn't eat the entire cake. I just have a part of it. And which part do I have? I have 24 out of 360 part of the entire circle, yeah? And please have a look at my playlist about sector area uh, where I will, uh, where I explain a little bit more um, yeah, with more examples, yeah, but it's 24 degrees out of a total of 360 degrees in a full turn. Okay, so that's going to give me the area of the top parts. Now, I'm just going to fill in some blanks. So, 24 out of 360 times pi, and yeah, pi is a number, times, now what is the radius of my circle? Now, this length is 14, so that length is going to be 14, and hopefully you realize that is the radius of my circle. So it's times 14 to the power two. And if I worked it out on my calculator, I'm gonna get 13 1 15th of pi. I'm leaving it in terms of pi. Now you can already times it by pi if you want, but then you have to write down all the decimals, yeah, because you cannot round in the middle of your calculations. And I want to avoid it. So I'm gonna leave it out in terms of pi, and I will do that at the end of my workings. Now part two. Okay, now part two, uh, you really gotta think uh, carefully because that is a curved part, isn't it? It's not a rectangle. Now let's have a look. I have here a cylinder, okay? And let that be the entire cake and let um, the blue cylinder have be the icing now, okay? Now as you can see, the top is a circle, yeah? Pi r squared, but then 24 out of 360. But what about that curved part, yeah? Now let me show you. Yeah, the curved part of a cylinder, if I just open that up, what kind of a shape, yeah, what kind of a polygon is that curved part? Yeah? You can try this at home with a can of beans. Yeah? You take off the label and you can see it. What kind of a shape is that? That is a rectangle. Look at that. And what is the area of a rectangle? Well, the area of a rectangle is length times width. Yeah? So, length times width. Okay, now what is the length? In this case, the length is the circumference of your circle. Can you see that? That is actually the circumference of your circle. That is gonna be your length. So, to, in order to calculate my length, I have to do two pi r, yeah, which is the circumference of a circle. Two pi r. What about the width? Well, the width is the height of my cylinder. It's the height of my cake. All right, now, hopefully I have shown you that because that is very important to understand that a curved part of a cylinder is actually a rectangle. Two pi r times the height. Okay, now I'm gonna go back now. So I just said it is two pi r 
times the height, because that's gonna give me the area of the entire rectangle, two pi r times the height. However, I'm not interested in the entire rectangle or in the entire curved surface area. I'm only interested in a part of it, yeah? So don't forget that. Which part? 24 out of 360, that part, okay. Now I'm gonna fill in some blanks again, so times two, that's a number, times pi, that is a number. What is the radius? Well, that is still 14, that didn't change. And what is the height? Yeah, and as you can see, that will be 10. Oh, excuse me, so times 10. All right, now if I work that out on my calculator, and again, I'm gonna leave that in terms of pi, because I don't want to write down all those decimals yet. It's gonna be 18 and two thirds of pi. So those are the areas of those two pieces, yeah? Now, you already know what is my next step. I have got to add those two areas. So area one plus area two. And in terms of pi, that's gonna be 31, uh, 11 over 15 of pi, okay? Now, my final answer, I'm not gonna give that in terms of pi, no. I am gonna give the actual number and um, if you do that on your calculator, and now I've got to peek, where did I write that down? Because I don't have a, have a calculator ready. So I wrote down the answer somewhere, but now I can't find it. Okay, there it is. Sorry about that. Uh, it's gonna give you 99.6932 and some more decimals, okay? Now if you multiply by pi here and multiply by pi there, and then you add those two numbers, make sure to write in all the decimals, you're gonna get the same. But all non-exact answers, I have to round it to three significant figures. So what is my final answer to three significant figures? 99.7 centimeters squared. All right, there we go. So that is the area of my icing, which is actually quite a lot, yeah? So maybe I'll be a bit nauseous after eating it. 99.7 centimeters squared, yeah? I cut it up, part of a circle, part of a rectangle, guys. Yeah, I know it's curved. Yeah, so it's two pi r times the height. It is actually a rectangle. Okay, I hope that was useful. Yeah, you can check my site. Uh, you can uh, check my Facebook site. You can follow me on Twitter. Many ways to uh, get into uh, touch with me. Uh, I hope to see you later. Bye-bye.